Greetings, my fellow Americans. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we are playing as that beautiful USA. So last time, we were being very, very aggressive, helped the UK invade Norway, and basically liberated them as a puppet under us, in which they're the transitional authority of Norway. Uh, there's a comment yesterday. Oh, it's fanatical German defense. Cool. Um, regardless, uh, there was a comment yesterday stating that unlike uh, my Kaiserreich American Union State game or campaign, do not, Mr. Mocha Lover, annex everything. And I don't plan on annexing everything in this campaign. I want to liberate stuff. we got to liberate everything under the, uh, the beacon of liberty and uh, democracy? I don't know, something like that. So I'm not going to annex everything. I'm going to try to release as many puppets as possible. Why are we over there, guys? Um, if we could get over there too, that would be great, but it doesn't look like it. Why, yeah, why are we over there? Oh, I see why. Ah, divisions attacking the colonies is a German compromise. With the war against the, you know, the, those Germans have begun, we must make sure to strike at all the German colonial governments and liberate their oppressed people. Oh. Westland. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Cool. Uh, is there a resolution? No, I don't know why that popped up, though. So, German compromise. The German United Front. Unexpected, huh? Oh, so this is a German United Front. That's just a greater German people's. Who is. Ah, the People's Germany's right here. Ah, yes. The Volkskommando. Fanatical revolts, workers' militias. The People's Revolution. Which actually looks like a really fun country to play as. Conservative victory. Whoa, there's a lot here. By the people, for the people. Cool. So, we might have to fight a United German enemy. So be it. it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. I just want my guys to get over here quickly and not to die in the water. Please don't die in the water. Economics, effects of war. So, with the TA's decision to go to war, consumption at home has fallen sharply. Inflation, has, as a result, has fallen too. Not our biggest concern, though, right now. Actually, inflation falling. Isn't that probably a good thing for us? Three. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing for us. So, okay. So, you guys are getting there. You guys are staying in Japan for now, even though we own the island right here. And is that Tsu Tsuhima? Tsuhima? Is that supposed to be Tsushima or Tsuhima? You guys are getting down there, which is fine. God, you guys take forever to get down there. Oh. Okay, so they're kind of united against us then. They're going to not kill each other for a moment and then kind of fight against us. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to send you guys over here too. That'd be fine. Because if we can invade there, that'd be great. Come on, get over there. Oh, we lost a couple guys here and there. I lost a convoy. Get up, get on the land. Come on, move, 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 move. Ooh, support equipment. Sure, why not? Come on, move your butts. You're taking forever. Move, move, move. Uh, okay, that's cool. Got the guys over here. Nice. The Republic of Iceland, huh? I didn't know they were a republic. You guys are moving over as well. Oh, look at that. You guys have started attacking, which is fine with me. Actually, if you guys would go ahead, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh, look at that. They got their little fleet out, but so do we. With the pride of our fleet. Hopefully we can find their stuff. Iraqi oil nationalized. Oh, no. Not the oil. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at the fleet. Oh, the British and the American fleets. Ah, oh, I love sinking some German ships. Gunter Lutjens. We lost a sub. That's okay. That was quite the victory, I'd say. Very nice. And we're so far doing okay-ish here. Swiss Liberation Army is gone. They are, are unfortunately killed off. The Republic of Iraq is here, and they're just kind of hanging out under Fuad al Rikalbi. Rikabi. Very cool. People's Revolution is doing okay. As we're trying to go down, the Iraqi oil shock. So, Iraq's young Republican government has unfortunately made no pretense of its anti British and anti Western position. It has come as a little surprise then that Iraq's large oil supplies have been nationalized with, the Iraq, with Iraq being one of the world's largest oil producers. This has had not a insignificant effect on the price of oil, which has affected our own industries that rely on cheap and reliable oil. As a result, inflation has noticeably increased. Well, time to open up our own oil supplies then. So far, looking so good. Um, I might recommend y'all get there a little faster. That'd be nice. Oh, what's going on over here? Sub? Keep finding their stuff and sink them. Sink them and stink them. We lost some British convoys, so be it. We sunk another sub. That's great. Alright, seriously, you get your butts over here right now. We have soldiers dying and you're choosing not to go? How dare you? Alright, let's see if we can head off to Wilhelmshaven and Hamburg. Let's see what we can do, my friends. Oh, we lost an allied convoy, whatever. That's fine. Actually, there's a little island there. The Channel Isles, cancel on these, that's fine. 
Yeah, still doing... Hey, we're looking green so far. Not bad. Especially with our infantry pushing down. That's not bad. 78, 84. Looks like we're winning Wilhelmshaven. Maybe across the board we are winning. That would be a great thing. Get down here so you can get down to Hamburg quickly. The Danes are doing a great job. Captain America canceled. During the popular... A popular during the Pacific War, Captain America, created by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon, is a patriotically themed superhero that fought alongside psychic Bucky against the Japanese and the Rochi, a mysterious samurai armor-wearing organization led by the former Japanese General Yamato Origashi, who defected to the Orochi after being convicted of treason against the Empire during the Pacific War. However, it quickly, be quickly left the public eye after the war, mainly due to Japan becoming an ally of the U.S. After a series of failed revivals, it was officially canceled after America issued number 78, issued on the 1st of September of 54. In the issue, Captain America fought against Electro, who was a German agent powered by electricity created by German researchers, and thus the Golden Age comes to an end. Oh, look at this. Okay, not bad. Keep trying to find them submarinos. We're doing an okay job. Not a great job, but an okay job. Bomb the heck out of them. Early autoloaders, very nice. Interception defense. Naval mission efficiency, yes, please. That'd be quite ideal. Let's see, it's 1954. Can't really do much around here, which is fine. I will say that we could probably do this, which will help us with losing less ships, hopefully. Ooh, and decrease inflation, now we good. Spy on the SS. Spy on the main government. Spy on the here. Um, economic policy? Nah. Uh, honestly, I really don't care about any of this stuff. I would like to launch a test satellite, but let's get some more support in the house. Oh, the, well, the house is really good. Uh, let's see, can we go over here, actually? Oh, we can't go to war economy, that sucks. Well... We're doing pretty well. I guess we'll just save it for something else then. Hmm. I guess we could save it for spying on stuff. That's fine with me. Supplies becoming a slight issue, perhaps. Marsh. Oh, well, bad supply. Period. Hey, we landed in Bremen. Great job, guys. Help them out. Really, just go ahead and help them out. Trying to get Hamburg next. Nice. And we got it. Wilhelm's often. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure why you're trying to switch places here, but that's okay. Alright, let's see. Y'all over there. Y'all coming to the aisles, which should do more than fine by themselves. Yeah, uh, you guys trying to land, and you guys are taking forever as well. How typical. Uh, come up to Scotland. Scapa flow would be nice this time of year. Anything else? Ooh, another sub sunk. Great. Another sub sunk. Great. Well, we've landed. And including in Hamburg as well. A lot of enemies down here. We don't need more armies. My goodness, they take full... Oh, we're over here too? Okay, cool. Yeah, task forces, go sink them. Yeah, sink them. Sink them and stink them. Very nice, very nice. Get some war propaganda, but I think we're doing okay so far. Good, get that army in there. Uh, sure. That's fine, I don't really care. How many men have lost 11,000 versus 15? Well, then again, Emerging Devastat has lost quite a few guys to, uh... Us as well, so. What's going on? Who's fighting us? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. You gotta get them boys in there. Oh, God, now that everyone's gonna try to suck up our supplies. Floating fortresses would be great. Let's go ahead and grab some carrier battle groups. Love it. We can almost unite. Hey, we united these guys. Great. Send the infantry that way. Send in a marine that way, too. Take them out. Good, good, good. Help him out, help him out. Surrounded and destroyed. Oh, yeah. Now we're encountering a lot of enemy resistance. But their divisions are so weak. They've been brutally killing each other quite a bit. I'm actually going to shift you over there. I'm going to shift you over here. And I'm going to shift you... Well, you can stay there. So you guys are currently fighting. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, yeah. Dutch stuff, whatever. You guys over there and you guys over here. My gosh, it'll take forever to move. I, it's an ocean. It's only an ocean. Come on, guys. Well, looks like we got enough army XP. Do we have enough APCs or anything like that? Medium tanks? I think we got enough APCs. Nice. Nice. Good. Do that. Throw on more APCs. Remove another tank. Not bad. How's that going to affect the APCs? Not bad. Not bad. They're doing much better now. This would look a lot better. Actually, what is the organization? Right now, it is currently 36. It's not ideal, but, you know, it is what it is. Go ahead and do another one, then. Go and throw logistics on, too. It's fine. Good, 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 good. 
Getting our allies in here to help out too. Not bad. We've almost reached the Praple's front. Alright, y'all. Get down here. Y'all. Yeah, some of y'all are already in the UK, which is good. Oh boy. They're sinking American convoys. That's not good. Come on, sink them, sink them, sink them. God dang it. Uh, where are my ships at? Come on. Sink them, sink them, sink them. Subs. I doubt we have any upgrades for any, any of these guys yet, so. Oh, that's a couple convoys. Sunk. Two enemy subs. Good, keep it up. No, no, it's doing so much better now. That's doing so much better. Eh, maybe I should do that more often. Recon 2. Get some better logistics if we can. No, we cannot. M military police. Better flamethrowers. There we go. Germany. Now, which Germany do we want? That Germany? People's Germany? Probably not, but I don't really care. It'll be alright. Two more subs? Great. Let's go ahead and increase this as well. Put the machine assisted decryption. What are we building? Nuclear reactors? Sounds pretty American right now. Missouri. Get a refinery. We're actually running out of fuel. What the heck? Oh, this is not America, then. How can we be running out of fuel? That makes no sense. Come on, man. Hold everyone now. You better not screw this up, General. Shift. Alright, anything else around here? Oh, yes. Four subs sunk. Two more subs sunk. Good. So, two more subs sunk. Convoy sunk. Good stuff. Convoy sunk. Another two subs sunk. Good stuff. Good stuff. We suck a, a German carrier, yeah. Nice. Couple more subs, good. Five more subs. One more sub. Presidential mandate, very, very good. The policies are unlocked. Oh god, there's a lot that we can do here. Uh, Supply anti-German rebels. Well, can't do that quite right now. They're done down here. We can focus more on up here, but it looks like... Mobile just says, let's get supply some consumption, because I don't know how the ports are doing right now. They'll do some policies. If the general character of our army is to be one of speed, we must ensure that the chain of command can move just as quickly. We must develop our logistics, our logistical capabilities, or ca capa cities, capa cities or capabilities, so that they may better reflect our new mobile reality. Very much so. We lost an allied convoy. That is unfortunate. Nice. And the Brits are actually invading. That was another comment from yesterday. Surprised that the we actually had a somewhat competent ally. Oh, now they're attacking us to a degree? Okay, okay, not bad. Oh, we found the British fleet. We lost two subs and a British convoy, but nothing in exchange yet. Come on, carriers, get in there. Go, 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 go. Oh, two destroyers have been found and sunk. Three, make it three. Oh, the battleship got away, but we sunk ten destroyers so far. Not bad, not bad. Fifteen in the meantime. Come on, sink them. And in exchange for a couple heavy cruisers. Which I'm going to assume maybe are just heavy cruisers, because I they probably didn't edit them. Oh, we sunk a carrier... Where'd the carrier go? Get in there. Oh, that's a nice war. That's a nice battle, I mean. Not a war. This is... Well, most wars are probably not nice. But, uh, you know what I mean. Probably. Hopefully. Omar Bradley. Please do a good job. Anyone have upgrades? Nope. Didn't think they would. That's okay. Oh, hold on. Yep, those guys are capitulated. This looks like a... Okay, frontline-ish. That's okay. So let's see. Do we have any extra planes? Because we could probably use some. Jet fighters? Cass. Do we have any other air bases around here? Come from Jalen. Thank you. We are running. How are we, as the United States of America, running out of fuel? How? It's because we're on partial mobilization or like civilian economy. That's why. Oh, why do you hurt me so? Ah, oh, there we go. War economy. Oh wait, no, we can't. Hmm. We have to be fascist, or Marxist-Leninist, or National Socialist, or Revolutionary Communist? What type of garbage is that? I'm gonna go export focus then. We should get some more resources then. We should get a lot. Oh, there we go. Now America's feeling like America. We lost an Allied convoy, lost a couple of planes, a couple of planes, and there we go. We lost two subs, a few planes, and a British convoy in exchange for eight heavy cruisers, 16 destroyers, two subs, a carrier, and over 70 planes. That was one hellacious naval battle. But it was worth it. It was unfortunately worth it. Go ahead and heal up, everyone. Y'all need it. Alright, so are we all here? Are we finally, for the love of God, all here? Almost. We're almost all here. Fighting the here. 
these Dutch boys here, they can probably help defend for now as we try to attack them. There we go. Not bad, not bad. They obviously don't have enough air support, or probably fuel, because they're all divided. Bowman? It's time we went bye-bye. They got a lot of... They don't have a lot of factories. They got a lot of manpower. Quite a few divisions. These guys have... A cr of course, the shoot stuff will have a crap ton of manpower. Quite a few divisions. The Dutch version of these guys, not a lot of divisions. No manpower, which is nice. And the Mechanist Verstadt, who overthrew Monstein last time. Oh, spider, 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 spider. <clears throat> cool. Give it me a few seconds and we're going to just go to Pound Town, hopefully. Bring on that Cass. Oh, Germania. You're left alone for now. It'll be a cruel trick. We'll do what the Soviets did in our timeline. We say we're going to attack, but then let our enemies take out Germania. So instead of Warsaw, it's Germania, so... Please, everyone, allies, or Germans, if you could. Actually, you might be stuck with them, actually. Hold on. Become Spy Master, sure, why not? Spend that political power, because we can. Did you... Are you at peace with Germania? No, you're not. The free agents, huh? Nice. There goes a sub. There goes a sub. Come on, guys. Sink them, sink them, stink them. Oh, we lost an allied convoy. Well, looks like the Dutch are trying to come back. Thank you, Brits, I guess. Uh, U.S. 54 midterm elections. Unfortunately, being in power comes with its downsides. Opposition has successfully been able to blame our administration for anything that went wrong in the last few years. While for us, the incumbents' enthusiasm is lower than... And as a result, the opposition has made significant gains this year in the House and Senate. That is unfortunate. Oh, now they put up a really good defense against us. Uh, well, to, in some places. In some places, yes. In some places, no. Over here, it's pretty tough to beat them up. In some places here, it's kind of okay. Anything else? 21 subs. God dang, that's a lot of subs. Heavy ship hole is done. I'm not sure how they can get all this fuel. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how they can get all this fuel. They should not be able to get all this much, this much fuel, can they? Anything else going on? We lost an allied convoy. Not bad. We might have found a few more subs around here. Not bad. We have four, five. Get up to six. Loss of Congress support. God dang it. As long as... As long... As we know longer, no longer have a clear majority of support of Congress support members in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, the political power of the administration has been significantly curbed. God dang it, I don't want to lose political power. But we still get 1.26 a day, which is not bad at all, but, you know, still. Oh, look at that, IVV. IFV. Okay, seriously, how do you get this much fuel? You should not be getting... Oh, they're almost out of fuel, which is good. So they can't, they can't supply their tanks, or IFVs, or anything like that. They should get lower and lower and lower every single day. They have probably a very, very limited amount, which is a good thing. But once they're out of fuel, everything is over for them. For the most part. They, don't, they still have infantry, don't get me wrong, but... Their ability to resist, especially our airstrikes, is over. Um, you know what, since we're here, go ahead and do this. Ooh, do we have drones? I want to drone strike people. Do that. And do that as well, you might as well, you know. What am I going to use my manpower for except for upgrades at this point? Force attack? Hopefully not. Mm, they actually beat us back a little bit, but they're going to regret that mistake. All that equipment they just lost, not worth it for them. And now let's get some more support. 35. Go up to 50. That'd be nice. It's going to be a bloody war, but a necessary one. Oh, completely surrounded Germania. You're welcome. Oh, these guys are losing so badly now. Uh, in the east. Send out waves. Oh, no, they're getting more fuel, actually. Do they have refineries, maybe? Um, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't know how they're getting more fuel. Maybe they're trading with Sweden or something. How's the SS? Uh, shoot stuff. Ah, oh, they're, oh, they're almost out of fuel as well. That's good. Oh, Free French Republic is here too. Okay. Operation Long Leash. The meeting room is one of many of the bowels of Langley, the colloquial name for the complex that houses the Central Intelligence Agency's headquarters. Men and women rush about carrying briefcases and set faces. The words anonymous and classified. B6 echoing with every step. It's said that the, after the first thing the agency draws into you is posture. And although this is purely ac apocryphal, Apocryphal. It is true that its many employees inherit a certain closed off nature, like carefully shutting or opening windows of a house to co coincide with the passing of crowds. It is with this same closed expression that the director looks at agents' proposals. He is more than polite enough to avoid stating the obvious, and certainly he is too old to express a necessary level of surprise. The proposal is unbelievable, and yet it is that the most discomforting, discomforting form of unbelief, so outrageous that it begins to make a form of sense. What the agent proposes is this The German Reich prizes Aryan realism in the art of the Aryan body and in its ex exhibitions and museums. Those that are still open, of course, and has sold off or burnt most of other schools of art. This, but this is not an accident or coincidence. The national socialist ideal despises art that is uncontained, unrestrained, unrealistic. Neger Kultur, Hitler calls it black culture, so why not find the 
brightest lights of the art world, the abstract expressionists the agent describes, and take them onto the international stage, rub it in the faces of the fascists who woo their potential allies into a brace of bold, unrestrained Western freedom. The director nods slowly. It is still an outrageous idea, but it is worth trying. There is already a list hopefully provided with the proposal of potential artists. He begins to tick off names one by one. Yes, this might, this might go well. Very well indeed. Interesting. Oh, long leash. Oh, yeah. That word. I was like, hmm. Hmm. It is an interesting word. Cool. Oh, look, upgrades. Infantry expert? Yes. Infantry expert? Yes. How are the tanks faring, actually? They look a little... Oh, shit. Nike, you're not doing anything. Yeah, so your combat effectiveness is probably not too good right now. Uh, limit yourselves to this part of Germany, since we don't have the biggest army we would like. Since I'm saving it, like some of these guys for Japan. Yeah, I guess I technically I could move them away from Japan at this point. Come on over to the UK. Just don't die on the way over. Please. Please. Alright, Lisa Barnes. Oh my gosh, Stephen Sheridan. That looks cool. We'll get that person. Am I basing the abilities of people based off their looks? You bet I am. Alright, give me just a few more seconds, and then we're going to attack with these tanks, and they'll just probably go to Pound Town. And I love going to Pound Town. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit of lag here and there. We lost an allied convoy. Come on, sink them submarinos. To the depths of hell with them. Three. Two. I don't want to count on it anymore. Let's just go ahead. And have a good time. Oh, boy. Look at those tanks going. They're going, going, going. Mobile logistics. Yes. I don't know how much supply we can fit through these German areas, but we'll do the best we can. And now, uh, only available during the presidential term for two months. Huh. More research feedback, quite a bit. Work on the interstate? Uh, I kind of like that. Less political power, get more infrastructure construction speed, finish desegregating the army. I don't want to lose political power, though. Recruitable population factor, reverse the New Deal, expand welfare. Most month for population, less consumer goods, production efficiency growth, expand welfare. Um, hmm... Increase private investment for two years. I kind of like that. Increase government investment. Oh, wow. Construction speed plus 25%. But it still gives you 10%. So that's not bad. Let's do that one. So, the economy is simply the algamation of several private sectors working together. Or private actors. They are the ones who should keep it running and keeping they should therefore be encouraged to invest. Man, I am not good with my words as I'm recording this. I am slurring a lot of my speech. Woo! But those tanks, thank God we got them in the battles. Uh, are they fighting anyone else? I want to watch them in combat. Oh, they just overran some people. Oh, let's watch, let's watch. So against them, they can't pierce us, we can pierce them. And they are not doing well, the enemy. I should have attacked them right there, actually. So we could have encircled them, but that's okay. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love APCs and tanks. Now, oh, a battleship has been sunk. I don't know. More subs are gone. What, what's after this? Like... I think this, this is like one of the high points here in terms of this mod, like America inter potentially intervening in the America, the German Civil War. So after this, hopefully there's like a land war we can have with China. I just don't know. I hope there is. Just because I know this mod is still in development at the time of this recording. Um, Darlan elected president, a dawn of a new time for the French people. I really hope we can go to war with the Chinese just to ha have another conflict before we end this campaign because this is only episode... Four? Three? Four? I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. Wait, are you still fighting them? Oh, you kind of are, aren't you? Yeah, you still are. You gave up on the German United Front, huh? Yeah, th th that German United Front didn't get too far. I mean, it looks like we already have half of Germany under us. And we've already begun liberating France. The real French. Not this fake French crap. But the real French. So... I would have liked to spy on these guys, but 200 political power seems a bit excessive. I understand if I didn't go to war, we might have more, but... I don't know. At this point, it should. if you go to war, you should have less of a cost, but a much greater risk to lose things. I mean, like I'm talking about like a huge potential risk. The CIA meets with the artists. It's always the same bar at the same time of day. The agency makes sure to make sure the intervals between meetings are regular, or it are regular, to avoid suspicion, but it's easier to set up counter-surveillance equipment with a routine schedule in place. The Shadow Agency was set up with the help of the Rockefeller Foundation and a few private donors who were contacted beforehand, but it's always agents who do the talking. The artists are usually somewhat reluctant, even though they don't know precisely who they're talking to, beyond a vague notion of immensely wealthy and discreet private foundations. They're inherently distrustful of blank checks, and what the Foundation offers is the mother of all blank checks. Pollock stammers out an initial refusal after hearing about the size of his payout. De Kooning nearly chokes on his tequila, a very expensive drink, the agent reports. And Motherwell nearly walks out of the bar, nonetheless the three artists agree that after extensive pleading and assurance that nothing will be tampered with in terms of artistic virtue. Then comes surveying of the works. And here, the contacts are truly out of their depth. 
The CIA hires all sorts, but it does not hire our critics, and the officers struggle to come up with meaningful comments on the walls of color to come to life. Paint arcs and vivid trajectories across a canvas like a ballerina executing a crossroom maneuver. Dots and smears leap with abandon and display themselves like little children performing. And the canvases are so vivid they almost sear themselves into the retina, but the agents manage to conduct themselves well even here, and they manage to secure the artist's consent for the project. One last spit in the face of the Thousand Year Reich and galleries across free Europe. Hopefully Hitler will have an aneurysm if he hasn't had one already. Our art will outshine their bullets. Isn't he dead? Oh, Mary. Oh. Hmm. Margaret looks like... Margaret looks oh, but Mary, hmm. Thumbs up, man. Thumbs up. Uh, can we get some military factories? Maybe that might be. Yeah, we definitely gotta focus a little bit more on military factories. Uh, Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee before. It was kind of warm when I was up there. Animal Farm. Ah, oh, Technicolor cartoon. Animal Farm at last, the animated film. Adaptation of George Orwell's famous novel, Animal Farm, has been released in the UK. A British-American collaboration, Animal Farm takes the honor of being the first feature-length British animation to receive a formal cinema release. The original 45 allegorical novella depicts an animal revolution against a human farmer opp oppressors directly refle reflecting the events of the Russian Revolution and the rise of Stalinism and burialism. A burialism. The murderous pig, Napoleon, as well as his fawning sycophant, Pink Eye, seize total control and execute their animal opponents. The novella concludes with the invasion of the farm by the fanatical Mr. Frederick and his violent farmers, who take the land for themselves and drive the animals away. The story ends on a bittersweet note. While Napoleon is left behind to die, a new farm is established by Pink Eye, who continues his predecessor's reign of terror. The film has been criticized for differing from its source material, as greater emphasis has been placed on Mr. Frederick's atrocities against animals, and emphasizing more on how... The greed of the animals led to division, paranoia, and weakness against this much greater and more evil threat. Some critics argue that this distracts from Orwell's original goal, which was, in a post-Barbarossa academic environment that sympathized with the Soviet Union, focused largely on the evil of the Nazis, an attempt to shine a spotlight on the continuing tyranny of the Soviet Union. Nothing wrong with a few changes here and there. There's no way to respect Orwell's legacy. Uh, hopefully they'll do another adaption of it eventually. Hey, we met the Polish Home Army. Hello, Poland! We're here to <clears throat> liberate you with culture. Yes, with culture. All right. How many men have we lost? We lost a hundred thousand. Oh, the UK has lost tw the double amount. We've gotten rid of roughly a million by ourselves, and over here, yeah, for us it's already over a million. We've gotten rid of so. You welcome everyone, Belgium. You made a great encirclement. We call this the Belgian pocket, or maybe yeah, the Belgian pocket's the best thing. Widespread mechanization, awesome. So we can do this one, or we can do that one. Well, with both of these, or we do this one for a line attack, and tanks get more soft attack, and we get more breakthrough. I gotta go with breakthrough for infantry. If you don't get breakthrough for more inf for your infantry, and you're not, and you're using a lot of infantry, I don't know what's wrong with you. But that's okay, because I make mistakes. But happy 1955, my friends. It's a new year, a new us. Uh, cap is plus five percent. Cap is plus ten percent. I gotta go with more cap, but more construction first, and then output, and then maybe cap. But yeah, I like the Belgian pocket, even though. As soon as I said that, I wanted to name the, the, the title of this video, The Belgian Pocket, but I'm not going to do that, as you can already tell. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and grab this. Disperse industry, decentralized, um, centralized, oh wait, so we get a bonus, 100% chance bonus in main. It would get more, why is it main? Uh, they probably won't be able to bomb us, I'm going to go with concentrated. So even if they are able to bomb us, it is what it is. I love The Belgian Pocket. The tanks, god, this is why I focus on tanks so hard, and I know eventually I'm going to get criticized for taking tanks on too much. Uh, liberate, I'm not going to liberate them, we'll probably get an event for that, so. But, yeah, I'm probably going to get criticized eventually for saying, Mr. Mocha Lover, all you focus on is tanks and APCs. I'm like, because I love them. I really love them a lot. They're fun, they're really, really fun to use. Especially when you have air support. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're so effective, like, why would you not want to use them? I mean, I, you... It'll be a weird campaign when I actually use IFVs, because I don't really care for them that much. But you know, they are what they are. Uh, are you guys moving up at all? Or It's hard to see. Yeah, you are good. Take out Einhoven. And then go over there, too. Very good. Very, 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 very good. How big is the German Navy? I mean, if you couldn't tell, Denmark is looking kind of thick right now. Oh, United Kingdom is up there. Okay, well, good luck. Good job with that, guys. Good luck. Good job. Good. Good, 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 good. The Free French Republic. Oh, shh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get into that war just yet. I want to finish out the German Menace first. Please and thank you. Carrier battle groups are a nice thing to have. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yes, yeah, sub operations. Let's do that. I want to really focus on the naval doctrine, but never mind. Let's, let's focus on... Not that. On this. Mass production. Batch production. Cap. 10% is so nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, no, I don't think I will. I want to focus on one enemy at a time. 
A French knight really isn't my enemy yet, so... Uh, uh, let's take out the f a fa one fascist at a time. I mean, I know we're taking out one, two, three nationalist fascists. Paternal autocrats can die later on, but you know what? You guys fight them for now. That's fine with me. That's totally fine. Guys, guys, come on. We're not done with the Germans yet. you got to finish one enemy first, and then do stuff with them. I really hope we get an event here, because I, cause I really don't want to annex these guys. I... I said this at the beginning, and I said I will say it again. I do not want to annex these guys. I only took them because I want them as like our puppet or something. That's that's what I really want. So Newman's reckoning. The artist, formerly known as B Barnett Newman, barring to his friends, lives in an apartment quickly emptying out, much like his career. He's been reduced to pawning valuables to keep himself and his spouse afloat. That and banging on horse races like all other desperate men and women in the city. And the canvas before him, day after day, sits empty. After a st string of rejections from exhibitions and museums, he sold away virtually all of his portfolio, and since he stopped producing works in 51, he didn't have much capital to begin with. Artists are not known for their practicality, but Newman is tired, and something inside him is training beyond its limits. He knows he's a man running out of time and drawing inspiration. The knock on the door comes. He opens it, expecting someone to foreclose on him or stop lending him money. What the man at the door proposes is something entirely different. The shadowy foundation has been sponsoring the likes of Pollock and de Kooning and Motherwells, offering a lucrative bonus to him, but they don't want his usual art, or the same fare the masters of abstract expressionism are creating in their million dollar studios. What the CIA wants is an artistic commentary on the Nazi state policies against those that deem the inferior, the monstrosity of Nazi brutality and its focus on the Semitic cultures, and a nuanced sympathetic depiction of the Jewish con condition. A new and who else to do it but the most famous Jewish expressionist of the 1950s? Newman nods. He doesn't really have a choice, not for the paycheck they're offering him, and he's had a few ideas roaming around in the back of his head about bright lines and scorching godlike horizons, and about the Jewish mythos laid bare in flat, vivid lines, and interrogating and accusatory, but fundamentally human, fundamentally vulnerable. He calls his first work Adam, and it will be a series. For Barnett, Newman has always had an idea what, whose time has come, and ideas rarely say on the schedules they were created on. Can't wait to see what else he comes up with. Well, we'll see what happens. I have no idea. Hopefully, once this is all over, we get an event saying that, hey, we can liberate stuff. Yes. Liberate, please. The Congo is gone. Of all places. Okay, then. Bye-bye, Congo. Goodbye. Hmm. What's our occupation policy like? Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is it because we're out of guns? It's probably because we're out of guns and support equipment. Well, that's not bueno. But then again, we didn't start that. It started under the German administration, the call to arms. Hope blossom in the possible places of capital that Nightmare Reich has been lost. The idealist revolution. Well, you will see. Well, we're not giving it to the people, hopefully. Because I don't want to fight them again. Revolutionaries? No, thank you. Yeah, how strong is this division? Uh, it looks like it doesn't have that much organization. I have these. Are like light tanks, so... Eh, we can grab some of this, that's fine. They don't have that much organization. That's why I took out all those extra tanks. Those light tanks and those tank divisions. Because they just weren't that strong. Now, Switzerland is another base of operations. Well, the SS. Well, the Oldenstadt. Uh, we're s Man, their capitals are so tiny. To oh, what the heck happened here? Seriously? Why did you take that from Denmark? Idel Ural has capitulated? Come on. Come on. Just capitulate them for us. Oh, they cut them off? Good. You could have probably a good time going right there and... Cutting people off, that'd probably be a good idea. Who's going to capitulate first? The Wehrmacht? Or the Wehrstadt? The Greater German Reich? Or the SS Burgund? No, uh, uh, not Burgund, but Schustafel Ardenstadt. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ah, okay, the Wehrstadt is gone. Uh, I'm probably just going to take all states. Ah, American now. As it should be. Sacrifice for people's Germany's done. Just in case, let's do the Soviet Union. You never know what they might be up to. Cool. Come on. Oh, we cut these guys off. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Get the Graz if you can. Nice. Very good, very good. What are you doing over here? Help take them out. Take them out. Tank on take action. Nice. Can they pierce each other? Uh, nope. They can't pierce us. And there goes a GGR. Beautiful. The last little piece of territory. You know what? They don't even need me. You know what? I'm also coming now then. Now, nice, so we can go to war with them. Nice. This way, we, we get all the war score when we're done. See? It's important to focus on these guys first than anything else. So. Ah, convoys. Good. Sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. That's fine. Go ahead and... That's fine. Can I actually go to war with the People's Republic of Germany or just People's Germany? No, I cannot. Oh, look. 
Couple subs. Oh, the German subs are still sunk. Good. 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 Cool. Always war, always business, increased spending. Oh, crap. So, burning electric glows sweep America in the night, clustered around the bright dots of cities and large towns, but some electric fires burn far brighter and longer, even, that, even the most brilliant of con conurbations. Some lights stay on forever, and these lights stem from the harsh industrial floodlights of Lockheed Martin and Boeing, where the parts are many and the workers are few. Here, in thousands of choreographed moves, the brilliant airplanes rise in unfurnished steel and bright metal. They are the carrier pigeons of a new age, and their fined, finned wings... Packed with poison guns are the talons ready to imaginary enemies. One by one, the airplanes rise and are delivered to distant airfields where they will be served their American paymasters. Eisenhower, brooding at a desk somewhere in America, considers the words military-industrial complex to describe the thoughts of hidden empires swirling in his mind. He knows all the money and power changing hands like gifts traded between old friends is on some fun level fundamentally suspicious. Even so, he knows better than to challenge the powers outright. Perhaps he decides some future president will change things. In any case, there's always room for things to get worse before they get better. Yeah, well, they just assassinate a president later on. The U.S. armed forces and their buzzing hives of clustered thought come to the same conclusion. Their increasing patronage of and collaboration with these corporations of the nation is likely to continue into the foreseeable future. It might even be that the defense contractors will come to influence senior levels of policy making in America and from there perhaps the world. It is a nightmarish possibility, but the sheen of the new weapons, like soft warm pillows pressed over the face, is endlessly comforting, and at least a little numbering. And so the machine rolls on day after day, and the lights grow brighter in an America that fits with a little more war making by the day war making by the day, and a little less with caution. War is a racket. Oh boy. Oh, thank you, Smedley. Smedley, Smedley, Smedley. Ah, look at this. Beautiful. So that should finish up the Civil War. That really should, even though it's not over yet. Who do we have to capitulate? Oh, they're not done yet. The French state will die soon enough, too. I'm kind of surprised. I guess we had to take literally every single tile of theirs, which is fine. I mean, it's not that hard. Oh, crap, what happened? We had an event. What? It just went bye-bye. Well, as the leader of the... Uh, group here. I could liberate, but I don't want them under us. We better get an event with this. Or I will find a way to liberate these guys, even though I don't want... I don't I, I don't want this. Oh, there it goes. Russian Republic demands return of Sokolin. Pavel Zagarev has stated his ambitions for Russia, and those include reclaiming the island of Sokolin, which has been under our occupation for years. He claims that the island is historical Russian territory and is ready to be given to the rightful administration of Vladivostok. American citizens? Uh, I would love to say that, but we're not really imperialists here for now. We're more cultural imperialists than straight-up imperialists, but he's right. There you go, buddy. Do you like us? Eh, yeah, kind of like this, you know. Jewish communities, Russian populism, Russian will, cool. Ending Altai. Well, destroying Krasnoyarsk. Moving through no Soviet Soviet border. Well, let's see what happens. Because we'll probably have to help them out in the war against those other peoples. That'll be fine with me. The war ain't over yet, but let's be real, it's almost over at this point now. Paris is completely cut off from everyone, everything else. Which is good. Uh, this is the, one of the rare cases where the AI is actually very confident. They took Paris without me. Now, I'm sure the French state isn't that strong. But this is weird. Like, the UK invaded Norway pretty intelligently. Like, this is weird. The UK did do some naval indigents, but actually managed to take the Netherlands back. Fairly okay. Ooh, radical change for Germany. Germany's People's Republic. So, this is getting unsettling. I'm not used to this. I'm really not used to the AI actually doing okay. <laughs> Oh, German territorial transfer. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if I really trust him. Can we still do anything here? Uh, let's do that one too. God dang it, no. All right. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to give him that territory. God, I hope this war ends. You know what? Let's just see what happens. Okay, this just seems a little. I want to say a little bugged because I don't know why. That part of Germany is given to them and nothing else. Okay. I mean, I could liberate, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, Toronto Court's looking nice, but still. I really hope we get an event for the Germans. Once the French state is done, maybe once we're at peace, maybe we'll get an option here. Because, like, like, I really don't want to annex all this stuff. I really don't. It's lagging hard, though. Oh, boy, what's happening? What's happening? Restoration of the Czech exiles. Okay, cool. Okay, what just happened? Um, headquartered in London since the loss of Czechoslovak uh, sovereignty. The Czechs are back. Why did they take everything? Hold the phone. Hold, what? No, 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 no. Why did they take everything? Hold, no, 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 no. Where am I? Are, are, please tell me at least the Benelux is under me, right? The Swiss government has been restored. That's good. D do, do we not get to say? 
Do we? What? 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 Uh, let's read about the victory first of all. So Dr. Sock looks haggard and sounds like he's been dragged through a ringer. His hands tremble, a telltale sign of late nights and caffeine poisonings. But he talks an animatedly, like a man set of fire in his tone is one of unabated triumph that carries over the airwaves. He and his team has won a victory in the war against a pest pestilence, and America will for be for changed forever in the bargain. The vaccine at work. Trials report a 60-70% type of heckness for polio vaccine type 1 and in excess of 90% for other types. For all intents and purposes, the polio virus is now an effective means of containment. As the country rejoices, the president and his administration moved on to begin mass vaccination campaigns. There are already stories of horrors unfolding in Europe as the Reich sees the resurgence of diseases across the continent they've starved and neglected. It will not be allowed to happen here. The polio vaccine and virus can't be stopped. Well, the virus can be stopped, and it must be stopped. Uh, one day, God help this country, it will be stopped. Until then, the nation will not rest easy. No more children will be allowed to die limp on dank bed, hospital beds as their, watch, as their parents watch helplessly. A victory for science is a victory for the world. Okay, I'll be honest here. I thought this was talking about victory in Europe. Okay, wow, wait. A, wait. Thanks, Dabs. Thanks. <laughs> now we got high uh, Congress support. That's great, but... Mm, like, how? How do we not get anything, like, no puppets? I mean, maybe maybe not even a puppet. Uh, Berlin replaces Germania. It's now Berlin, not Germania. Okay, but why do, why do they get everything? They even got Austria. They did nothing. Basically, we had to step in, and we should at least get half of Germany or something. Look, I love that Czechoslovakia is back. But at, at what cost, you know? Ah. Oh. Eh, uh, I can't be too upset with it. I mean, the mod is relatively new at the time of this recording. It's like a week to two weeks old, so... Hopefully one of the devs does watch, and... Or some of the devs, and... Takes note. We'll say, takes note of things. Because I do plan on playing this again. German Surrenders at the end of a dark era. Uh, French Free State. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to take it all, and nothing's going to happen. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to take it all. Give it to the Free French Republic. That makes more sense. War in Free State. Uh, give it to them, too. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure that we actually get what we deserve out of this. Um, dealing with Italy. Do we go to war with them? Destroy the government. Annex war goal against Bulgaria. Against the state of Hungary. Yeah, that's not very cool, man. I mean, I'll play as a German People's Republic later on, but... Man, I, we've just been, we've been... We've been cheated. How? Why? Who would do a thing like this to us? How dare they? Oh my goodness, but, let's see, is there anything else right now? Any sort of events? Anything like that? Please, besides going to war with Italy? We don't get anything for the Swiss Confederation? We literally fought and died to liberate these guys. And these guys aren't even a puppet under us? <sighs> that is a little disappointing, not gonna lie. But regardless, we're gonna end the episode here. And in the next episode, we're gonna figure out what else we can do in this mod as the US. Because we have elections coming up very soon. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did... Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to figure out what's going to happen next. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.